In northeastern Nigeria, the village of Gahara Mojili still bears the hallmarks of a 2015 attack by militant Islamist group Boko Haram. Residents who fled the violence are slowly returning home to relative peace, but find themselves without electricity and other services like health care. But Nigeria's Energy Commission and the UN Development Program are changing their luck by introducing solar panels. The panels have improved their access to clean water using solar-powered water pumps and street lighting to help improve on security. Before the solar, we used to fetch water in the stream, but his, the solar comes, we stop going to the stream because the solar gives us water so much. All the people of this community are benefiting from the boreholes. One of the boreholes has stopped functioning properly, but we are hoping it will be fixed in time. The solar panels have been set up in eight villages, benefiting over 13,000 people. At the nearby Gahara Health Center, patients can now access vaccines as the hospital uses a solar-powered refrigerator. There are even so, so many cases of hepatitis in this community now. And the problem is because they did not have the vaccine earlier. So that's the cause of the problem they're having now. But now, since we have the vaccine, I, I believe the case is going to be less. But tapping renewable energy here is not just a short-term solution. It's helping tackle persistent energy shortages that have existed in the region even before the attacks, giving the people here a chance to also develop their communities further. Uche Okoronkwo, CGTN.